What I like most about my life group is how enthusiastic it can get. I love the energy and I love how, no matter how tired I might be feeling, no matter how, um, how challenging my week might be going when I enter into life groups, um, I really just put it all down at the right when I come in and we are able to encourage each other and it's helped me to um, just find that rest um, amidst the trials um, that God puts our way for our benefit, of course. And so it's, I love the energy and I love how I can be refreshed and renewed by God's Word. And as we met together over the weeks, I really found that even though we had such an age difference, different experience, different backgrounds, they weren't people I would normally say, that's someone I really want for a friend. As we shared through the scriptures and share God's Word, I saw that I could learn about culture and different things from the young people and the trickle-down wisdom from the 80-year-olds was amazing. And I began to connect with a group of men and women that didn't necessarily go to the service I went to, didn't have a lot of what I saw life in common, but we had the gospel in common and we had our church in common, and it was enough to grow and to connect. Which is amazing because we went from having mostly Korean members to a multitude of nationalities in there now, and you can still feel the love and everything throughout it all. I am most encouraged when I have seen uh, people grow in their faith. Uh, since we have been uh, doing the, the life group format, I have observed people in our group open up more. We, we go through the Bible and we go through the scripture and we, go, we do these application questions where you kind of relate the story to your own life or to anybody else's life in any situation you'd ever get into. And it really helps me to learn exactly what God is asking of me. Being in life group and praying and sharing with people and watching God work in everyone's life in big and small, day by day, has just made me more certain of who and what I believe in. Our life group uh, has really helped us get through a tough time last year. Craig um, had some health problems and was in the hospital for three months. And uh, we had just been in our life group a few months, but they rallied to our side. They brought meals for me. They visited Craig in the hospital. They prayed for us. They had their other folks that they knew at Christ Church praying for us. Uh, it, was a, it was a hard time physically, but, it, but spiritually it was, it, was, it was a wonderful time. Uh, and life groups just, like Shannon said, just rallied for us. And people I don't even know were praying for me. I, people were sending me cards I've never met. Hundreds of cards, hundreds of people have said, we were praying for you. People in this church, other life groups. And I think that uh, I'm alive today because God answered those prayers. I don't doubt that a bit. And in church, we get to hear the sermon and live it out throughout the week, but in life group, we have others that help us live it out throughout the week. They share with us that what they're learning. We get to share um, our burdens with one another. We're accountable to each other. Uh, we get to share our joys with each other. It's no longer just about us, but it's about the body of Christ. And In the, getting these people excited about the Bible, um, like the Koreans, they, they were so excited to see the other life group and what they're learning, they, uh, they just decided to start a life group on their own. I mean, without any prompt from me. Um, and at first I thought it was just going to be a couple husbands and wives and, and whatnot. But uh, I think they're like eight people now. And, and they're, they're really excited about that. And, uh, and cause them to think about, yeah, now who else can I outreach to bring them into this study? You know? So yeah, it's really exciting to see what what the Lord's doing with this. It's, it's simple enough for just about anyone to understand. We're not dealing with the, with the uh, most uh, the academic of, of theological topics. We're dealing with, with basic stuff like the, uh, the Sermon on the Mount, but the sort of ideas in the Sermon on the Mount are not things that I have mastered in my personal walk. Uh, you know, loving your enemies, blessing those who persecute you, uh, 
you know, loving Jesus more than any anything on this world. Honestly, like going through those very simple ideas and seeing the world they lived in has encouraged me um, a great deal in our world. It's funny, of, of all the ways we have in our culture now to get truth, the internet or books or your own Bible study, I'm amazed how often it's someone sitting across from me in a, lit, in a living room, in, in a small group setting. And just the way they happen to say something or share an experience makes the truth come alive. Uh, I'm getting married soon and, and going into just kind of a, a phase of life that I'm really unfamiliar with and, but really excited about. I think that life groups really, I just has, you know, they're coming beside me in that and just offering so much support and guidance and in things that can otherwise maybe be scary and, and foreign, they're really, you know, they're people who've done it before and uh, just know what it's all about and can just kind of guide us in that, support us, teach us, and it's really been helpful. When you get a bunch of people of all the same age, you definitely lose that dimension of, I don't know, like we're all in the same phase of life, so we're all kind of trying to figure it out, kind of like the blind leading the blind. It's a good way to say that. Yeah. So, yeah, we desire to have people who, who can say, yeah, we've been there, we've done that, and this is like something we can offer you to help. And, um, and in the same way, we hope we could be encouraging, you know, back to them in maybe different ways or just, um, I don't know. But I really, really value having having older people who can just share with us like how to do it. <laughs> The people in my group uh, are transparent with each other and I believe it's kind of pushed us to be open and honest and share trials and, and temptations and struggles but also joy and instead of seeing kind of Facebook feeds of people's lives um, throughout the week you get an in-depth look at someone's heart when they're able to share their their personal prayer requests with the people in the group, knowing that we will get them all week long, have them, and then continue to pray for them all week. For us as a couple, being able to do ministry together um, and together as a group, uh, the commitment they've had, the commitment we have to each other to, to lead, um, it's something that God laid on our hearts and we stepped back from a ministry just so we could do this ministry 100%. We knew that God wanted us here for a reason and it's been a huge blessing to, to all of us involved.